There are many kinds of morning glories in Southeast Asian country. People eat a lot of morning glories. Some of them red color, like this, but some of them can be green or white color. But mainly we will see green and then red color in the rice field. Anywhere with water, they grow wild. People consider morning glory as wheat, so it causes problem for many farmers. But actually, it is the best vegetable. Many people eat it, and then we can sell in the market. You can buy in the market easily. So morning glory is a main vegetable that we have it all year round in Asian country. This is the part where we eat them. The young shoot like this. It tastes good. We eat raw or cooked. There are many ways we can eat them. Before that, no morning glory is quite big leaves like this. A lot of leaves. That's very high nutrition. That's why some people call water spinach because it's higher nutrition than spinach. It's very nutritious vegetable. But later on, people don't like to eat leaf much in Thailand. In another country, maybe different. But in Thailand, people love to eat stem more. Then the company, they start to develop morning gori to make them have smaller leaves. They have more stem. So this is new variety that the company developed for people. The way I plant my morning gories is very easy. I just pull the stem from the rice field, just harvest anywhere from the rice field, and then we can use those stem to plant them easily. We can pull out the long, long vine of the morning gories. Every part of it can be planted again. They can grow from every joint of the stem. So it's so easy and convenient to harvest them like this to plant. The first, we need to prepare the bed very well, make the soil loose enough and then just lie the stem of morning gories. You can cut it apart or you can make the long line, it's okay. But when we cut it apart, it grow, I think it grow back easier and then we can arrange it in the way that we want it better. It's good to put them very close together because every joint, they can have new shoot come up from every joint of them. So we will have a lot of them grow up in a small area. With this technique, we don't need to buy seed anymore. After we line the vine very close together, it can be very thick, it's okay, there's no problem. Sometimes I can make it even thicker than this. And then after that, you can cut them so they can grow back faster too. Or if, you, if we put a lot of them, sometimes we don't need to cut them. It doesn't matter to cut or not cut, they still grow. But I like to cut them sometimes because they grow faster a little bit. This is how it look like. So, Every joint, the new shoot will come up, almost every joint of them. After that, I will sprinkle some chicken dungs on top of it, so they can have some food in case if the soil is not good enough. But if the soil is good, we don't need anything. We just cover with dirt or rice husks or straw, they will grow back again. After chicken dung, then I will add more dirt on top of it. Dirt help to cover the stem, especially the end of the stem need to be covered with the dirt. 
and then the new shoot will come up after that. This is how much I cover the stem of the morning glories. So it's good to not see a lot of the stem exposed much because if they are underground, the root will come out easier. Then water very wet after that. It will look fresh immediately. The leaf will look very fresh. And the next few days, you can see the new shoot stick up very fast after that. After five days, the new shoot stick up from the joint like this. This is the fastest way to grow morning glories. They grow very fast after that. This is how it looked after seven days. Now the shoot have bigger leaves and it look greener. Now it's ready to eat actually. If we want, we can harvest them now. So it's the easiest plant to grow only seven days. You can harvest them. You can eat them fast. The good way to cut harvest them is just cut them close to the ground like this. If you cut them close to the ground, the new shoot will stick up tall. But if you leave the stem too long, the new shoot will be vine going on the ground. After we cut them, another five days, the new shoot will come back again. So we can harvest every seven days or every 10 days, something like that. And then if they grow slow, just add more compost on it. They will grow back, never end. This is the easiest vegetable, the best nutritious, the most nutritious vegetable. Easy and good. And then it lasts so long. We can harvest them more than one or two years if we keep cutting them close to the ground. And then if they don't grow well, cover with compost, never end. This is another way to grow morning gory. If we have tons of morning gories in the pond, just pull them up and make a bed like this. It can be one foot high, it's okay. With this technique, we don't even need to dig a bed. We don't need to till the soil because we have very thick layer of morning glories. It will be compost some of them. Some of them will grow back. After that, we always sprinkle with chicken dung because they need some food. Chicken dung will help them to grow fast after that. After chicken dung, cover with straw. So make break straw apart, don't make it become a sheet. So the new shoot will push up to the straw easily. So make straw very loose. Don't make it become a thick cheese. So they can come up to the straw easily. Another easiest technique to grow morning glory is put the stick in the pond, in the water, and then tie the vine of morning glory, maybe four of them at the stick, then they will grow very fast like this. This technique is very easy to grow and then don't need to water them, don't need to take care of them, just harvest them and sell them. That's quite easy. But the problem of this technique is we need to go into the water to harvest them. That many people mm. don't like it. This is the part where we will pick them and eat them. This very young shoot is very good taste. We can eat fresh like this or we can cook it, it's good. This is a good sign to eat them. In the water, there's very beautiful shoot floating on top of the water. We can pick the end of it and then they will grow back very fast after that. 
So in the water is easiest way to grow them too. This is what we need to eat. This part is very uh, crispy. It's crispy and look fresh, look good. This is the best part to eat. After we cut them like this, we can keep them for a long time, as long as it's not too dry. If we put the end of it soaked in the water, it can last for weeks and weeks. So, morning curry is a kind of plant that we can eat a lot, and it's easy to grow, and then very nutritious plant. The morning curry shoot that we pick from the water it's good to clean it very well, and then sometimes we use salt water to clean them or soak in salt water. It helps to clean it better. After we clean it very well, I'm going to do the stir-fry. Morning curry is the most popular dish in Thailand. So everywhere you go, you can order stir-fry morning curries. It's very fast and easy. So I just cut it in half like this. Then we are going to add some fresh chilies in the stir fry too. I think most of Thai people love to chew the whole fresh chilies in the stir fry because it makes the taste so unique. It's very nice taste, very addictive taste. Spicy is good. We normally eat a lot of garlic in Thailand, so everything we always add garlic in there. I don't think we can live without garlic. Sometimes we use a lot of garlic in everything, even fresh garlic we eat as vegetable also. And salt, I use only salt for this stir fry. Then we start the fire and add some oil in, in the wok. So we need very high heat. Normally in the restaurant, in many places, they make it very hot. And then when you throw the morning curry in there, you can see the big flame above the, the wok. It looks scary sometime but it tastes good so stir fry is the fastest way to cook food only one minute you cook in there and then just add a little bit of salt in there that's all the thing that I add so I don't use any sauce normally people use soy sauce or people use uh, soybean paste in there that's the way people do in Thailand. Soybean paste is very popular. But the way I cook here, I use only salt. That's it. Only salt, it can make the taste so good. Normally people addicted to MSG or monosodium glutamate. So they never enjoy the real taste of vegetable because they eat the test of MSG for so long but if we use only salt it will be very unique test it's very good I love the test it more stir fry morning gory is one of the most delicious way to eat vegetable if you come to Thailand every restaurant I think you can order stir fry morning curry everywhere so we love it a lot here too so in our communities at Pan Pan we always have vegetable like this in Thai food especially northeastern food or southern food we eat a lot of vegetable fresh vegetable we eat many of them like this all the time and in we always love vegetable. With no vegetable, we are going to die.
the taste of the food is the gift for our life. So to eat food, many different kind of food, is so fun. It's so nice, and then to have food with less MSG, less condiments, just test the taste of food more. I think it's the best way to enjoy the real taste of each variety of food. So when we eat together, it's always good. Like this, it's so yummy.